Hey yo, this chapter was so hype. So good, so good. Oh man, it was it was straight action. Nothing but action. Nothing but the action. But at the same time, of course it was. Like, you don't go through what they're calling the Yonko Saga. You know, the Yonko Saga. And not have the showdown with the two primary Yonko be this beastly. Because that's all it's been. A back and forth. You're dealing with some stuff from Big Mom. You're dealing with some stuff from Kaido. Big Mom Kaido. Big Mom Kaido. And to have them just kind of intersect here with the... Titanic triple threat captains of the supernovas as well as a couple of the strongest bladed weapon wielders in the One Piece world? Yes, Lego, Lego. But enough hype, let's get into it. As we see the cover page with Rob Lucci, which, man, I can't wait for Rob Lucci to have his return in the manga. Or at least I hope he does. Because, ah oh man, I would love to see what kind of new skills he has ever since, you know, he got defeated all that time ago. But the chapter proper opens up with Kaido bringing out his demolition gusts, which is those wind blades. You know, those sickle scythe wind blades that come just flooding out of his mouth. It's just like, it's that's such a messed up ability. But Law immediately pops out of there. Killer manages to dodge. Kid, he cuts off part of his um, makeshift max arm, but it's just like, yeah, no problem. It was scrap metal. Who cares? And he just ends up reassembling it. And Zoro, Zoro straight up just deflects it with his blade. Like, yo, Zoro, just not even dodging. Whereas Luffy, he does a lot of dodging, manages to get in nice and close on Kaido, brings out that Kong rifle, knocks Kaido back, and it's it's such an awesome tag team because in comes Kid grabbing onto Kaido in his yo know, mech form, and then he takes Kaido's head and suplexes him into the ground with. Slam Gibson! Kind of like slamming a guitar in the ground like a punk rocker. Like, oh man, so cool. And then Kaido, of course he gets right back up. And he immediately goes for Law because... Well, Law seems like he'd be the easiest to go after, only for Law to pop out because he switches with some rubble. Uh, I love his ability. It's so handy. And he's just like, uh, I've never seen the anatomical chart of a dragon, yeah, the insides, basically. But he's just like, oh, I guess the heart's probably around here. And he brings up the Gamma Knife, which, oh man, I love that attack. And he just strikes at Kaido. But, of course, it's not enough to bring Kaido down. He's just like, look, I'm tough as a motherfucker. You are, your freaking tricks, you know, it's not going to do anything. You can't win with just guts alone. But, they're not listening to any of this. As Killer takes his turn, going in, scaling up Kaido's hide, and as soon as he gets to a nice central point, he brings out his ultimate attack called Scythe Scyther Sonic. I love that Pokemon. But <laughs> just like also Sonic the Hedgehog, maybe? But I have no idea what this attack is. Cause it looks like it cuts straight through Kaido, but I'm not even sure. I don't know if this is like an imaginary attack, something that actually stabbed through Kaido. I'm not even sure, but you know, it does look like it does a good amount of damage. And it almost looks for a second like maybe Killer's gonna get the kill. But this is a two on five. So, of course, Big Mom comes in with her yelling out god names and all this. Her attack, Indra, which is a massive lightning strike that knocks Killer away. And she's just like, yep, yeah, as long as you're under the open sky, there's no escape for you. Because she is full on going with Zeus. Like, Zeus is just unleashing the thunder. And... 
Now, as Killer's falling to the ground, Kaido goes in to bite him once again. Man, Kaido is really trying to eat some people up in here. But in comes Luffy with his Rhino Schneider. Knocks Kaido away, but then Kaido gets ready to send out his blast breath, his Boro breath. And... You know, Zoro, not missing a beat, seeing that Luffy's about to be in a little bit of trouble, tells Law to shoot him up towards Kaido. And while Law's not too happy with the fact that he keeps being used as people's personal mode of transportation, you know, he does it anyway because he still understands that there's no time for petty squabbling just yet. So as Kaido lets off his blast breath, Zoro uses his flame rend, his stolen technique from Kinemon. And then he really goes in with a one sword style. And Kaido looks and it's just like, Wait a minute, <laughs> he looks at Zoro's sword, cause Zoro's using Enma, and Big Mom realizes, oh, okay, that's no ordinary sword. Kaido, dodge, and Zoro uses Flying Dragon Blaze, an attack so massive, it cuts off one of the horns of Onigashima, like the literal mountain of Onigashima it cuts off one of the horns and like man I think Kaido would have died from that it's hard to say and Kaido's just like wait that katana it, it holds Odin's presence within him so I'm not sure if he's saying it has the spirit of Odin the will of Odin or he recognizes it as one of Odin's blades could be all three honestly and Big Mom's just like okay we've definitely underestimated these guys and so she just starts spamming the thunder so Zoro's just pissed that he missed he just gets blasted by a massive bolt of thunder we're talking on some you thought Eneru or Eno was bad like this is so some really crazy thunder because it's living thunder and it is blasting all over the place and Big Mom lets out her ultimate attack God of Lightning Tenjin which is blasting everyone Luffy, Kid, Law everyone gets hit but Luffy manages to stay up in the air and when Big Mom questioned wait it hit you why did it do nothing to you Louie's just like cuz I'm made of rubber bitch like rubber doesn't conduct electricity most of y'all need to understand that at some point so it's just like wonderful foreshadowing from way back in Skypea, like, man, who knew his abilities would just come this far and have this much meaning? But then Kaido's just like, okay, but my attack will probably work. So he sends out Blast Breath, and there's no Zoro around to cut this one, but Luffy manages to tank that shit. And Kaido's just like, okay, so my flames didn't work either? Why? And Luffy, the light, without missing a beat, is just like, guts. <laughs> he just threw what Kaido said not too long ago, that it would take more than guts to defeat him. He threw that right in Kaido's face, along with Kong Gatling. And he's just going in with the rapid fire hits on Kaido. And it's just like, man, Luffy is just going crazy crazy in this fight but it's still hard to tell if they're actually going to win because they are getting some hits off on Kaido there's no doubt no doubt they are really getting it in on Kaido but the thing is at every turn at every strike Kaido just gets back up again and he just brushes it right off and goes back in and that's the thing it's just like yeah it's not hard to, it seems like it's not hard to damage Kaido but he just shakes that shit off 
So it's just like, okay, on top of originally it was, it's hard to damage Kaido. Okay, we're damaging Kaido, but he seems to just walk that crap off. And it's like, man, if maybe it was just Kaido, we might really be having a good chance here. Big Mama is just really being annoying. She is spamming that lightning, and it's just like, oh, yeah, you survived, Luffy, but your allies... Not so much. They're having a tough time with all this. So it really is hard to tell how they're going to make it through all of this. You know, are they actually going to take them down? I don't know. I still just can't see them taking down two of the Yonko on this stage. It would be cool. It would be amazing. It would be fun. But I just don't see it happening. But... Tell me your thoughts in the comment section below. What was your favorite tag team moment or singular attack? And do you feel that our heroes have a chance here? And if they don't, how are they going to get away from all of this? It's really hard to tell. Maybe one, Shanks will come in once again and save people's asses. Because he seems to be on that shit. But, you know, so far Luffy doesn't seem too far out over his depth but it really is hard to say but again comment section below like subscribe bell whatever you feel and until next time i've been deuce this then and i will see you later my friends Bye bye